There is one guy from Wisconsin that might have a little bit of an yeah, opinion Yeah, he wanted on that. to be included in this chat. <laughs> Let's get a check of the <laughs> forecast with Chief Meteorologist Alex Kirchner. Pick a cheese, Alex. I would lean towards cheddar if I had the choice, but Colby, I love the history behind that, so we'll have to see if that gets uh, picked within the next couple weeks or so. A little closer to home, we are looking at uh, the aftermath of a tornado warning earlier on today. Here's some of the low-hanging clouds that came through the Rockton area on our 13 Weather Authority photo community, so definitely check that out for some interesting-looking clouds across the state line. It was northern Winnebago County, north of 173, uh, right near Rockton, where a tornado warning was issued. Thankfully, nothing touched down and caused damage, but there were reports of funnel clouds uh, that got about a quarter of the way closer towards the ground. And, of course, anytime there's rotation on radar, that's why those warnings are issued just in case one of those funnel clouds did manage to make it all the way down to the ground. Even some 50 mile an hour wind gusts reported with that. Thankfully, uh, for that 40 minute time span this afternoon, that was the only severe weather that we saw. Ever since then, it's been pretty quiet, but radar is still active. You see on satellite and radar, we had one last round of showers and storms work through the state line. A couple quick downpours near Winnebago and into Loves Park and Roscoe. But uh, overall, all that rain is uh, fizzling on out as of this point, and that should be about it. For at least the next 24 hours or so, the cold front is now past us. That's pushing all those showers and storms away from us. So now we're getting into that cooler and much less humid airflow. We get a break from the heat and humidity for several days in a row. That's been a little rare so far this hot summer, uh, but we get a change of pace for the rest of the night and into tomorrow and the next couple days after that. 61 for tonight under a mainly cloudy sky. Definitely much cooler as lately we've been in the upper 60s, low 70s for overnight lows. And then only up to 74 for tomorrow. Lately, it's been the 90s to 80s, uh, so we are looking at at least 10 degrees uh, of cooling compared to the past couple days. Mainly cloudy and dry throughout the day, and the 70s have been a little rare so far this summer. Typically, we average a good handful of them, but we've only seen three days in the 70s. Last one coming about two weeks ago. You can see the average of uh, June and July, at least. 19 days, so the cool weather has been lacking. It's going to feel a lot different the next several days in a row. Also seeing some more chances for showers and storms. It won't rain the entire time, but between Friday and Monday, we are picking up possibly more much needed rainfall. Here's a quick preview of future track. May see some spotty on and off rainfall at times Friday. You can see the rain's a little hit or miss and won't rain the entire day. We can get into Friday night. Showers starting to exit. Saturday looks to be the day that's mainly dry out of this stretch, so may not see much rainfall from the start of the weekend. End of the weekend, though, heavy rain could work in early Sunday morning. We'll definitely keep an eye on that as the weekend goes along. In the 70s uh, for possibly another four days in a row. Then we heat back up as the weather slowly dries out, expecting upper 80s back by the middle of next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, temperatures stay on the hotter end moving forward. 80s and more chances for showers and storms coming towards the tail end of next week. And even with all of the roller coaster weather and uh, the cold front coming through, Still managed to stay on target today with the four degree guarantee. We were three degrees cooler than the high temperature of 88. Uh, so that means our little record streak continues. This is the highest we've gone thus far in our four degree guarantee. Tomorrow's forecast 74 James and Brittany. Give him a prize because he had a tornado warning and he still managed the four degree guarantee. Yes. Alex Kirchner, everybody. You Alex, need thanks. all the good emails tonight. <laughs> all right, send them Alex's way.